today on MTG Unpacked, we're continuing our snacking on Ravnica Allegiance. And with me today to do the pack blessing duties is Nicole Bolas. Yes, the famous Elder Dragon. Let's pop him over there and he just so happens to be on the playmat here. And you may notice there's another Planeswalker visible in the frame. He did not deliver the great value we were hoping for, so he is now cast out into the Planeswalker Exile Zone. Alright, so that is where some of these Planeswalkers go for a brief or an extended stay if they do not get us the value we're looking for. So let's get started here with Scorchmark, Bring to Trial, Thought Collapse, Rubble Belt Runner, under City's Embrace, Gift of Strength, Footlight Fiend, Open the Gates, Act of Treason, Get the Point! You hear that, Jace? You get the point. And for the Uncommons, we have a Biogenic Upgrade, Windstorm Drake, and one of these split cards, Collision and Colossus. And rare is Pestilent Spirit. Creature Spirit. 3-2 for 3 mana. And that is pretty cool artwork. Look at that. Has Menace and Death Touch. Instant and Sorcery spells you control have Death Touch. So any amount of damage they deal to a creature is enough to destroy it. Holy moly. It's stench corrodes steel. It's miasma sickens angels. It's finality ends hope. That sounds about right for that dude. And a Simic Gilgate and a Spirit Token. Okay. So who here has built a Spirit deck already? Or do you have one in mind? Is that a thing? I know there's this afterlife mechanic in this new set. So... I'm wondering if that will lead to any decks with that. Okay, next pack we have Spike Will Acrobat Hazda Officer, Arrestor's Admonition, Sylvan Brush Strider. What is up with these commons? They want to fly everywhere today. Carrion Imp, Rafter Demon, Azorius Locket, Blade Brand. Skewer the Critics, Growth Spiral, and for the Uncommons here we have Sphinx of New Prav. And I always have a bit of a chuckle, these Sphinxes are so weird. They have all sorts of, they usually have the big wings of course, and the tails, but yeah, all sorts of different characters there. Tower Defense. Another split card, Collision and Colossus again, and the rare is Unbreakable Formation. Okay, so this is an instant for three. Creatures you control gain Indestructible until end of turn, and it has Addendum. So if you cast this spell during your main phase, put a plus one plus one counter on each of those creatures, and they gain Vigilance until end of turn. Okay, seems decent, and a Gruel Gilgate. And a Centaur token, that is pretty cool. Alright, halfway through. Mr. Bolas, where are the crazy pulls? You might be in the box next, sir. But I like to give the Planeswalkers a few opportunities just in case they're having a bad day. Next up we have Bring to Trial. Coral Commando, Feral Marker, or Maker. How would you pronounce that? Leave a note in the comments. Concordia Pegasus Carrion Imp Rampaging Rendhorn Final Payment Act of Treason Imperious Oligarch Ill-Gotten Inheritance And, oh, that's pretty cool. Uncommons, we have a Rakdos Firewheeler and is anybody planning to go Rakdos with their regular standard deck? Leave a note in the comments. Spire Mangler. 
Azorius Skyguard and the rare. Oh, 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 you know what this is gonna be. Yes! The big hit, Domri Chaos Springer. Okay, fantastic. Legendary Planeswalker, Domri Mythic. He's five loyalty cost for four mana. His plus one is add mountains or forests. If that mana is spent on a creature spell, it gains riot. His minus three is look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal up to two creature cards from among them and put them into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. His minus eight is you get an emblem. With at the beginning of each end step, create a four four red and green beast creature token with Trample. There they are. Yeah, we got your Domri. All right, and this is the better Domri. There is a Domri Planeswalker that comes with the Planeswalker deck, but this one is the more expensive Domri. I guess you could say more uh, abilities here. I'm not sure why they do that, but there it is. And a Gruul Gilgate. And a human. Okay, so we got the big hit there. That's probably the big hit for the box. Still got, a, let's see, another 12 or so packs to go. So there's still a chance of getting some juicy, more juicy mythics there. Last pack here we have Prying Eyes. Spike Wheel Acrobat. Twilight Panther. Under Cities Embrace. Territorial Boar. Deface, and what is going on here? There's some creature. Oh, he's got an axe. Is that a goblin? He's going to axe this thrall statue. I think that's what it is. There's a couple of... Oh, in the corner. Look at that. I did not notice. Okay, so this one's a cool card because it's got goblins. Gateway Plaza, Applied Biomancy, Root Snare. Azorius Locket, and for the uncommons we have Archway Angel, Azorius Skyguard, Resolute Watchdog, and Tutu. Ah, another one of these, yes, it's Judith the Scourge Diva. Tutu for three mana, we just got one of these the other day as well. Legendary Creature Human Shaman. Other creatures you control get plus one plus zero, and whenever a non-token creature you control dies, Judith the Scourge Diva deals one damage to any target. So this is probably the best set of packs yet. An Orzov Gilgate and a Thopter token. Okay, so my picks today. Though it be tempting to pick the Pestilent Spirit, I'm going to go with my pick in the rare slot as Domri Chaos Bringer. Here he is, bringing chaos, as you might expect, with his army of piglets. And in the uncommon slot, let's see here. I'm thinking, yes, this this one here. The Rakdos card. We have a Rakdos Firewheeler. Creature Human Rogue 4-3 for 4 mana in the Rakdos colors. When Rakdos Firewheeler enters the battlefield, it deals 2 damage to target opponent and 2 damage to up to 1 target creature or planeswalker. Ever wonder why you never see an old Rakdos cultist? Yes, uh, that's uh, these crazy circuses. I wouldn't expect them to live too long. All right, and then in the commons, let's dig through here. Actually got a couple of good things. There's a few I've highlighted before. Looking for something with interesting mechanics. Oh yeah, this guy. And again, again with the Rakdos. People are probably sick of it. Rakdos, get out of here. Don't want the likes of you around here. We have a Rafter Demon, Creature Demon, 4-2 for 4 mana, with Spectacle 3 and a Swamp and a Mountain. You may cast a spell for its Spectacle cost rather than its mana cost if an opponent lost life this turn. And when Rafter Demon enters the battlefield, if its Spectacle cost was paid, each opponent discards a card. All right. Very cool. So leave a note in the comments if you agree or disagree with my picks. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. 
hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.